Hello there, quirky people. I am your host, Anna, and today we're going to look into our very own Galadriel. No, not Kate Blanchett. You already know who Kate Blanchett is. I am talking about the new one who is played by Morphid Clark in Prime Video's The Rings of Power. You might think that you haven't heard of her before The Rings of Power came out, but let me tell you that you probably would have seen her in many other projects. This 33-year-old Swedish-born Welsh actor grew to fame playing Maud in St. Maud. I've got more important things on my mind. For this role, she was even nominated for Best Actress at the British Independent Film Awards and the BAFTA Rising Star Awards. That was a moment where, when you realize that everyone's passion is at its heart, it's very exciting. But to be honest, just reading the script, I knew. She, you don't look as terrifying as everybody thinks you're after watching that film. It's brilliant. Then she also starred as Dora Spenlow in The Personal History of David Copperfield. He was staring. Is there something wrong with me? No. I apologize for my rudeness. Think nothing of it, sir. It speaks very well. It was actually me. Back in 2020, she appeared in BBC and Netflix's miniseries Dracula, where she portrayed Mina Harker. Not my eyes. Apart from this, you may have seen her as Sister Clara in HBO's hit TV series, His Dark Materials. And now, she has bagged the biggest role of her career as Galadriel in Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. She was just 11 years old when the Lord of the Rings movies came out. Over time, she grew up to be a big fan of Kate Blanchett, who plays Galadriel in those movies. So the moment she bagged the role had to be huge for her. She admitted that she almost fainted when she got the news, as it was a dream come true moment. Some auditioning, I did about kind of seven auditions in London, LA and Barcelona, and I kind of you have that moment of just happiness, relief, super excitement. And then I went to the premiere. I just kind of toddled off stage trying to look as <laughs> not tod like not pallid, wobbly not as, as I could. Not as pallid as you were yeah. feeling. And just before I got off, I collapsed into the arms of a security guard. And there's a video of it, unfortunately. You can hear my mic drop. The <laughs> uncoolest mic drop that's no. ever happened. She was pretty excited for the part. And here's what she had to say about Galadriel at The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. What was it like to learn that you got the part of Galadriel, who might be the coolest character in the entire Legendary? Yeah, she's pretty cool. Apparently, Miss Clark here is a stunt enthusiast. She was very eager to do her own stunts in Rings of Power. And here's what she had to say about it. I saw you on the ice wall and you were 10 meters in the air yes. on climbing on the side of a cliff face. You were actually doing that. Well, I was semi doing it and then there ropes. was Riley, a stunt guy, <laughs> dragging me up as well. Because our, our armor for that was like 15 kilograms. No, but I loved the climbing. That was the only skill that I'd done a bit of before. And it was very nice to have at least one thing that I was semi-competent at because the rest of it was very daunting. But guess what? She actually wants to be a double for Hollywood's master of doing his own stunts. Yes, she wants to be a body double for Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible movies. That would actually be my ideal life for no one to see that it was me. Oh, I think being Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible films would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Now I have some idea of stunts. I can't believe that he actually does them all. It's crazy. Now that's just crazy, don't you think? How can someone even think of being a double for this guy, who keeps threatening his own life all the time? Anyway, the moment has passed. Still, she seems to be pretty gutsy. And she has awesome taste, because apparently she wants to play an on-screen couple with Jeff Goldblum. Who doesn't, madam? Get in line. I would love to play an on-screen couple with Jeff Goldblum in his Jurassic Park era. While the Rings of Power is playing on, its biggest competitor is proving to be none other than HBO's House of the Dragon. But apparently, she was a massive Game of Thrones fan, so she was seen appreciating the competition as well. Here, take a look at what she had to say in an interview with Variety. We have the Lord of the Rings, we also have House of the Dragon. Do you, do you guys feel any like friendly competition with the cast? I am um, like a massive Game of Thrones, like, so, yeah, so I'm just so excited. I like really hope, well, I just think it's it's a good time to like fantasy. Um, yeah, so I'm chuffed. Yeah, maybe a bit of um, friendly, friendly rivalry, but not really. Everyone's so supportive of each other, so that's lovely. Now to end this Morphid Clark video, I'd leave you with some of her funny moments on and off the sets. Oh my goodness. So I remember when I found out that Kirsten Stewart said that about St. Maud, um, my sister like rang me and was like, you have to look at the text I've just sent you. And I just screamed, I couldn't believe it. If I met Kirsten Stewart, I think I just want to say thank you to her for like just 
kind of really bringing weirdness to the forefront. I, I love that. She's, and I love that she's getting her, her, the role she's playing are getting weirder and more grimy and gritty. I think that's a really cool thing that she's doing for like women in film. So I think I'm always um, edging on cosplay yeah, now <laughs> with all my clothes because <laughs> it does get into your blood. It helps a lot, yeah. um, definitely. And um, to be able to kind of, as an elf, I'm playing an elf, which is very exciting, but like to be able to actually be riding through a forest, I mean, that's the most close to magic I've ever felt. Mm -hmm. So all of that thing, all of that stuff was really good as an actor and just as a person. Mm. It was so much fun. Yeah, and then um, there's, the elves are all very old, very clever, I've seen a lot. And so um, there's a bit of arrogance between them as well, I see. <laughs> Which okay. kind of seems fair enough. Yeah, fair it's enough. like a fair thousand enough. year long marriage. Yes. <laughs> you know them so well. That's oh, brutal. you're doing that thing you do. Could you not yeah. again? There you are. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope that the Rings of Power ends up being a global sensation and Morphid Clark starts to get more roles in the future. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye and stay quirky. Anna out.